Of all the things you need to do a job well, breathing safely might be the most important. But in some kinds of work, that's not as easy as it sounds. Harmful matter in the air, things like dust, respirable silica, harmful chemicals, and more, can cause short-term irritation in your airways or lungs, and even long-term damage, like scarring or cancer. For those kinds of work, wearing a respirator, a tight-fitting mask that filters the air you're breathing, is essential. So just put on a mask and you're good, right? Well, not exactly. Because to protect yourself from the visible and invisible dangers in the air around you, you need to know a few keys to proper respirator use. That means getting medical clearance to wear a respirator, selecting the right type of respirator, fitting it correctly, and cleaning and maintaining the respirator over time. The first step, getting medical clearance, helps ensure that you can tolerate the amount of resistance that a respirator creates on the heart and lungs as you inhale and exhale. For someone with a serious medical condition or damaged lungs, this might be too much. Medical clearance includes a confidential medical questionnaire that's evaluated by a healthcare provider who will either clear you to use a respirator or refer you for an in-person evaluation. Next is selecting the right type of respirator for the job. Filtering face masks, such as N95 masks, use filtering material across the entire mask surface. They filter out 95% of airborne particles, but they do not protect against gases or vapors, and they're not oil resistant. These are designed for single use and should be discarded after one wearing. The other type of mask is an elastomeric respirator. These are tight-fitting masks with replaceable filters or cartridges, which you can select depending on the hazard. One type of replaceable filter is called the P100 because it filters out 99.8% of particulate. P100s don't filter gases or vapors, but they are oil resistant. Elastomeric respirators are more expensive, partly because their material, rubber, silicone, neoprene, or plastic, means they can be sanitized and reused. No matter the type of respirator, a proper fitting is critical. A fit test ensures that the seal between the mask and your face is tight. Without a good seal, even the best respirator isn't guaranteed to work. So, make sure the filter is doing its job and keeping hazardous elements from sneaking in. The last key to getting the most protection from a respirator is cleaning and maintenance. Remember, this only applies to that second type of respirator, elastomeric ones. Follow the manufacturer's instructions closely and disassemble, disinfect, rinse, and dry your respirator on a regular basis. Using a respirator can protect you from tiny threats with big consequences. So make sure to follow the keys of using a respirator properly. Get medical clearance to wear one, select the right respirator for the job, fit it properly, and maintain it well over time. This will keep you breathing easy in more ways than one. For more information on respirator use, check out the many resources at Montana State Fund.